Here we go. I am. Go. Joe, I know you don't like to talk at a moment like this, but you're getting two and a half million dollars. Will that make any difference in the way you're going to fight? Well, it, uh, it gives me inspiration to, to do a little more, you know, and uh, go five a little more, and I feel good about it. The hour of truth has arrived. Don't hit that truth. Just listen to the noise of this crowd. This is well going to be a great evening for boxing fans all over the world. In a moment, we should be seeing Joe Frazier. In just a moment, I think we'll be seeing Joe Frazier. It is characteristic, as you know, for the challenger, which is a position that Muhammad Ali is in now, to come out first. Here comes Andale Angelo Dundee through the ropes. Dr. Pacheco. These are the people that will be in the corner. Bundini Brown, who will be in the corner with the champ. In a beautiful, beautiful red and white robe. Those of you who are looking at this in black and white, I must tell you that he is in a beautifully red colored robe. Now here comes Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier will be here any minute. He's coming out. Listen to the roar of this crowd. I want to tell you this is going to be a spectacular evening. The tension and the excitement here is monumental. Joe Frazier is on his way out. Archie, how does the how does Muhammad Ali look to you, Archie? Looks beautiful. He looks beautiful. He looks very fit. trim, doesn't he? Yes, he looks like he's mad. And I suppose he'll look it out. He, would you say he's psyched up? Here comes Joe Frazier. Here comes Joe Frazier, ladies and gentlemen. There seems to be a mingling of booze along with the applause. I don't know why this man is a gallant champion. Right he is. But that's the way fight fans are all over the world. Here comes Joe, and he is dressed in a beautiful green. Beautiful green. Right above me now is Yank Durham. Don, would you give us a few comments on the rules? Where's that well, uh, Bert? Of course, they're wearing eight-ounce gloves. Here in the state of New York, we have the mandatory eight count of a man is floored. The three knockdown rule is in effect. That is, if a man is floored three times, times in a round, he is automatically counted out. If he is floored at or near the bell, the count will continue at the bell, except in the last round. We have a referee and two judges who will do the scoring, and the scoring is on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out are even. For the first time in heavyweight championship history, we have two undefeated fighters in there. Frazier has won all 26 of his bouts with 23 knockouts, and Muhammad Ali has won all 31 of his bouts with 25 knockouts. Muhammad is clowning it up in the ring now. He's got a smile on his face. I think you saw that little brush that he had with, with Joe. Joe looks pretty mad about the whole thing. Let's hope that the boys don't begin to mix it before they get their robes off. What do you say, Archie, about that? I think they are in tremendous condition. Yeah, they both look swell. Tremendous condition, and they're both oh. eager to go. Archie, tell me. Go ahead, Don. You want there's something you want to make say? No, I, I think that Johnny Addy is about to introduce him, I though, see. Bert. And Archie, we'll be back to you in just a moment. Here's the famous ring announcer, Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We also have here tonight undefeated retired heavyweight king Gene Tunney. Think about it, Gene Tunney. Gene Tunney sitting in the audience, retired undefeated heavyweight now, ladies king. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Bill Rett and Archie, Ali Maidana. You were remarking Maidana. a moment ago about the condition the of these two fighters. 
Well, Bert, I believe that uh, Frazier is in what you call fighting trim, and uh, Ali uh, has not been fighting regularly enough to be in the fighting trim. It's like, he's very much unlike... Uh, well, wouldn't you say, though, he's in good shape? He's in good shape, no but you're doubt. you're making a difference between what you call fighting trim and good shape, is that right, it? Right, right. You see, a man like George Foreman, who's been fighting right along on the Dick Sally, is in fighting trim. You see, this is the way... All right. All right. He's wearing red trunks. He weighs 215, undefeated in 31 bouts, scoring 25 knockouts. Here is Muhammad Ali. His opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he's wearing green trunks. He weighs 205 and a half pounds, undefeated in 26 bouts, scoring 23 knockouts, the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Let's pick up the last minute instructions from Arthur McCanty. Since this contest is for the final final determination of the heavyweight championship of the world. We ask you to pay particular attention to the rules to of the New York State other. Athletic Commission. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. The other man must retire to the neutral corner. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Break when I tell and you to break. Dundee on the right, Nancy Durham on the left. Shake hands now, man. Return to your corner. Hold it. Almost ready for the fight of the There'll century. No Yancey Durham yes, has a question. And now we're ready. Hundreds of millions are seeing this bout around the world. A packed house at Madison Square Garden. Muhammad Ali in the red trunks. Joe Frazier in the green oh, trunks. They appear very light. Frazier will try to bore in and catch his man. Muhammad Ali opening up fast. He may try to blitz him here in round one. And he's trying it. Muhammad Ali may try a blitz. He got in that good left hook. Frazier is not the easy target he used to be. He's bobbing and weaving all the time. And he's dangerous. His best punch the left hook. Muhammad Ali's best punch the jab. And his good combination. Great, great. First clinch of the fight. That was a hard left hook that caught Frazier. Frazier is more vulnerable in the first round, and Muhammad Ali knows that. Muhammad Ali shakes his head is warned for holding behind the neck. Muhammad Ali has been missing. But that jab didn't miss. Muhammad Ali shakes his head as though this man was nothing, but he was tagged. A whipping left hook to the body that must have hurt by Frazier. Now Muhammad Ali is finding the mark with those jabs. And he gets caught on the rope, which he should not do. One minute to go in round one. Frazier is smiling as he takes those jabs. trying to make use of the ring. He's standing there with Frazier. And that's not considered healthy. Muhammad Ali, flat on his feet, not up on his toes, like the Muhammad Ali of old. Frazier just fights one way. He pours in and he punishes. 15 seconds to go in the round. 
It's been a fairly close round. Frazier getting closer to the ex-champion. The round is almost over. Well, the round is over. Listen to the roar of that crowd. That is one of the most exciting first rounds I think we've seen in a long time. And Frazier really is unrelenting. He keeps moving in. He hasn't given he hasn't given Muhammad Ali any chance to move around and fight his own fight. It would seem to me that Frazier's making the fight. Wouldn't you say so? I think that Frazier... Watch this in slow motion at 135, 135 seconds into the fight. Done a good job of manhandling him. Joe is shaking his head, as you can see there. As much as to... I mean, uh, Muhammad Ali, as much as to indicate that he wasn't really hit hard. That's a subterfuge, I believe, uh, because he was hit very hard. Here we go. We're ready now, almost Cunning at the beginning man. of round two. All right, Don Dunphy. There's Joe Frazier in his corner with his manager, Yancey Durham. Champion Joe. Muhammad Ali. Round two. The Muhammad Ali that we remember of three and a half years ago was a dancer. He's not dancing tonight. He may be trying to slug with Joe. Those are hard jabs and a good right cross. Frazier may have been hurt a little bit by that punch. Referee Arthur McCanty, a fine official, gets them apart. A good exchange. Muhammad Ali got in the best exchange, a good one-two, a moment or two ago, as you saw. Muhammad Ali is not keeping Joe Frazier away from him. However, he is scoring heavily. Round two is half over. Taking a good pattering in this round. Stop talking! And the referee told them both to stop talking. They have time for that. Muhammad Ali is pot shotting Frazier with that right hand and getting away with it. And Muhammad Ali may be a little tired. Less than a minute to go in this round. Frazier every so often digs that wicked left hook to the body. It has been a dandy. Oh, that must have hurt. Frazier has been hit with solid right hands that would have felled an ordinary man. 15 seconds to go in the round. That was the best punch of the fight. That left hook. Beautiful round. Ali exhibited magnificent skill and hard punching power. Much Very hard punching power. Watch it in the Frazier slow motion. Frazier with that left hook. A beautiful left hook. Now Ali comes back. There is no question that if Ali wins, he'll be beating Frazier at his own game, don't you think? That's right. Here is the instant replay again. Look at that right. Look at those rights. Those rights and lefts. Frazier is a strong man. He missed with a left hook that time. Ali is 
quite capable of tying a man up and he's strong himself. Joe Frazier just spits some blood. He is bleeding inside the mouth. Round three. Round three. Two undefeated fighters. This fight so far ranks with the great ones. Again, the referee tells them to stop talking, and they sure are fighting. Frazier is not getting that clean shot at the body that he did in the earlier round, in uh, round two. It's amazing that Frazier can stand up under that battering. And he is scoring himself. Now, Muhammad Ali is telling in his favor. He has been keeping Frazier away with his longer reach. How many, how many of those punches Frazier can take? These are big rounds for the ex-champion. Now Frazier is scoring. He said he would go to the body and he is. Frazier making good use of that head on the inside. Half a minute to go in the round. Frazier must be hoping that Ali will punch himself out. I mean, Ali really hit Joe with everything in the book in that particular round, but Frazier is relentless. He's a little man, but he's a Sherman tank, and he, he keeps there. moving in. And he's certainly making, they're looking at, we see him on slow motion now. There's that beautiful left hook which caught, which caught Muhammad Ali. And Ali looked tired by the end of that round. We're gonna see now the last 10 seconds of the round. While Ali is on the ropes, Joe begins to really score with some of those beautiful shots to the body. There he hit him with a left to the jaw. Now he's going to move him. Right to the body now. And here we go for round number four. Muhammad Ali in his corner. He gets up before the bell. Round four. Four! heavily but he could get discouraged he's hit this man with his Sunday punches and Joe keeps coming in Joe is taking 
plenty of battering. Anybody else would have been on the floor. piling up a tremendous amount of points at this stage of the game he is way ahead no question they're just above us that whipping right up a cut one of Ali's best punches Neither one has ever fought a fighter of the caliber of the opponent tonight. No question of that. A minute to go in round four. Ali cornered on the ropes. Joe could be running out of steam too. Still a good chance. <laughs> Ali ducked into that punch instead of moving. over. I see, I, I thought Muhammad Ali started and missed in that round. He did. Brady hit him with a terrific kick. For a minute, bunch. A, a great round. A great round. The first part of the round was all Muhammad Ali, but Frazier kept pouring in relentless. Ray kept pouring right in. Then we're going to see it at 2.45 at the end of the round. 2.45 into the end of the round. Now look at, look at Ali hit those blows, but look at Frazier keep coming. This is 35 seconds into the round. Now we're getting ready for round number five. Dunn Dunphy. <laughs> All right, Bert and Archie. Round five. Round five. Muhammad Ali may have been told to move more. He's up on his toes for the first time tonight, but he was tagged. Muhammad Ali dancing around for the first time. But Frazier has caught him again. Frazier says, come on in and fight. You know, Frazier also has a good jab. Muhammad Ali slipped there over in Frazier's corner. It's very wet, apparently. Always is in a fighter's corner. right hand behind the neck and pulls Frazier in on him once in a while. Good one, two, and a jab. Now Frazier is mimicking Ali. He's just smiling at him. If anybody is psyched here, it is not Joe Frazier. Look at that hook. is just laughing at him. 
talking to him. You know, that's the way Muhammad Ali used to taunt his opponents. to go in the round. <laughs> Bert Lancaster said that Joe Frazier was like a tank. That's just what he is. He just can't st keep sticking that chin out, though. Watching it now. Look at him. See him taunt him in that one. He's dropping his hands and just letting him throw punches. I don't think, however, that Frazier can continue to take those kind of punches. But he surely is some kind of a very strong, strong man. I think he's trying to psych him out, don't you? Well, it sure looks that way. I mean, this is a Joe Frazier who's apparently kept a lot of. A lot of anger against Muhammad Ali in his heart. What and now he's really going to make a play. Here we are, 40 seconds into the round. Here is round six. And this is round the round Muhammad six. Ali said he would win in. Round six. The round. Now it's Muhammad Ali making the clinches. Frazier landed the punch. Now it's Frazier doing the punch shotting as Muhammad Ali tries to hold on. Two minutes left in the round. to be interesting in the scoring. Frazier is the aggressor and that will count for him. Half the round is over. One minute to go in the round. I get the feeling that they're both tiring a little bit. Ali almost a sitting duck here. The 
The round is almost over. Ali will score no knockout in this round. That's the end of the round. There's no question about it. Joe Frazier is absolutely relentless. He's coming in there. We're going to show you 20 seconds into the round, the slow motion. Watch Joe Frazier, just relentless, pouring it on in there. For a while, Ali tried to move around, but he's not going to be able to move around like a ball. Look at that again. He's just in there. Joe is just murder. Just murder. He is one of the toughest men you'll ever see. This is 225 now into the round. This is near the end, and Ali is shaking his head. This is when a man tries desperately to rally. At least trying to hold him off with cute little tricks. But it doesn't work. There's the buzzer for round seven. Muhammad Ali being talked to by Bundini. Round seven. And Ali is caught on the ropes again, but this time he ties up his man. He shook his head as though to say it didn't hurt, but it must have. Frazier smiling again. I asked Archie Moore between rounds if maybe Frazier was punching himself out. Archie said he didn't think so. got to be maybe the most torrid heavyweight championship fight of all time. Again, Arthur McCanty tells Ali not to get that hand behind the neck. Wicked body punches by Frazier in Ali's corner. Seven half over. One minute to go in this round. Ali scoring with those solid jabs. And Frazier may have slowed down a little bit, but he dug one into the body. And Arthur McCanty tells Frazier to keep his punches up, which he just did. Ali dropping the hands. Frazier smartly goes for the body there. Well for Ali that that missed. That didn't. Ali shakes his head. The round is almost over. Round well, seven is over. A terrific round. At least seems a little disgusted with himself, but he's mighty tired. I'd say he's having a tough time handling Frazier. Wouldn't you, Archie? I think he's running out of his uh, steam. Here we come, 2.30 in the round, to show you that slow motion again. Now watch Frazier. A line misses with a right, as you can see. And a left. Frazier is in there. The crowd is 
chanting Ali. And Joe says, come on out and fight. The bell hasn't sounded. There it is, round eight. Round eight. Both men in splendid condition, no question. Great athletes. Joe Frazier just literally took charge there. Now Muhammad Ali is piling up points with those jabs. Don't, don't forget that. Joe looks like he's in a training session. Frazier's just pouring everything in there now. They're short punches, but punishing punches. making very little return here, and the crowd is getting on him. <laughs> Ali is still talking, but he is, he is also catching. Waving Frazier on. who gets the sheer joy of combat the way Joe Frazier does. Some are landing on elbows, but some are getting in. Here it comes, look out. There it is. Half a minute to go. Round eight of a 15 rounder, no knockdowns. Those pity pat punches aren't going to do much for anybody. Archie, what do you think of this? I think that Ali is tired out. And I he think, has uh, tried to psych Joe out by pretending so Joe wasn't hurting him. I think so too. I think he's taking a. They're taking quite a whipping. I think, he'll fight, I think he'll fight desperately the coming round. Now there he is. There we are. There we are in slow motion. 30 seconds into the round. Now watch Joe. I don't see how this fight can go the distance. But like you say, these boys are in marvelous physical condition. Well, the crowd has changed. Now they're yelling. Before they were yelling Ali, Ali. Now they're yelling Joe, Joe. I know it. I don't see it going the distance, do you, the way it's going now? Well, I don't know. They've gone through eight rounds, Bert. That's true, but I mean, it's something, boy. They could both punch out. You know, that's possible, Bert. Joe Frazier's corner, Yancey Durham, setting him up for the next round. Muhammad Ali. Round Frazier nine. is the fresher of the two, no question. Round nine of a 15-rounder. You must remember this in the scoring. Muhammad Ali has been making most of the clinches, and that will count against him. He has broken off the exchanges more often than not. He has also scored some devastating punches against Joe's head. Remember, against Oscar Bonavina, Muhammad Ali had enough left in the 15th round to score a knockout. Oh, 
Joe bobbing and weaving, trying to get that whipping left at the head. Two minutes to go in this round. Frazier coasting a moment. Got him on the ropes above us. Right, now Frazier is starting to relax and uh, rest on the on the inside. All right, Frank, step back. <laughs> Frazier trying to get that left hook to the head and takes punches in return. Frazier trying to get that guard down. Ali covering up on the ropes. That was a wicked punch. So was that. I, I think Muhammad Ali is in real trouble now. Judging by his looks. He's throwing out wild right hands. round. Use a desperation round. There we are. Here we are with the slow motion. Look at Ali go. Look at him go. Look at him. As Joe, Archie said, it's a desperation round. Joe seems to be a little tired now. And yes, Ali I thought Joe looked a little tired. Being refreshed. Ali's becoming refreshed. Didn't you think so, Don? I, I think Muhammad Ali summoned great reserve and, and just when he seemed to be going out, maybe. Right. What a fight, what a pace. I've never seen a pace like this. Archie, have you ever seen a faster type of fight than no, this? No, never, never. This is a beautiful thing. The only man could do this thing was Henry Armstrong. You hear that? Only Henry Armstrong, Henry Armstrong could keep this by the face. But two big heavy boys like this, this is quite remarkable. Round 10, it's scheduled for 15. Now let's see how that punishment affected Joe Frazier. He's probably been told to stay in close now to nullify that long-range hitting of Muhammad Ali. We'll see who got the most benefit out of the minute's rest. I don't think you'll see Frazier stay out in the center again and, and just trade. He'll try to keep him on the ropes. Frazier grunting as he comes in with those punches. Frazier is putting everything into his punches. And now Ali looks tired again, but that could be deceitful. Looks like he wound up with that uppercut. Frazier trying to get Muhammad Ali to the ropes again. He takes punishment as he gets him there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. What's going on here? Frazier, Frazier may have something wrong with his eyes. He was calling his trainer in there. <laughs> Frazier may have something in his eye. Muhammad Ali's coming at him now. Frazier's trying to nullify it. Oh. 
For a moment, I thought Joe was going to walk out of the ring. Frazier taking that battering again. Half a minute to go in the round. I mean, Ali seems to be coming back in a kind of a way. He came in with some beautiful combinations then. There was a peculiar thing happened there when Joe looked to his corner as though something was wrong, and the referee waved them on. Here we are, 125 into the round that you just saw, and now we're one looking at it in slow motion. We're trying to find out what it was that was wrong with Frazier before when he made that gesture toward his corner. This is 2.20 in the round now. 2.20 in two minutes and 20 seconds into the round. Now here's the buzzer for round 11. Let's go, Joe! Round 11. tired. There are two minutes left in round 11. Muhammad Ali holds on, but Joe's not rushing in there either. He's holding two. Trying to get that shot in there. Mahali, Muhammad talks to him again. Not much happening, I'll say. has gotten wild. He's lost the good timing he had earlier. Lost the rhythm. That one hurt. So did that. Muhammad Ali staggers. Muhammad Ali was lost. He's holding on desperately. Thirty seconds to go on the round. Thirty seconds. Muhammad Ali rocks him to the ropes. He almost went down. Ten seconds. Wow. 
Around is over. Around is over. Around is over. What a round. Muhammad Ali was really out that time. Frazier really clobbered him with everything in the book. Now, Freddie, you might try to fool him in this round. Next turn coming up. I know, no. but I mean, he took a terrific beating. There yes, was no did. question about but it. He may try to fool him and catch yes. him. Here we are. I'm going to show it to you on slow motion again. Now, look at this. Well, who thought it would go this far? Gamely trying to fight back, but he is spent. And Joe Frazier is pretty spent too. A wicked punch. Joe smartly goes for the body. Frazier resting in there too. He's had a tough night. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier is very tired himself. <laughs> Frazier is getting in some wicked body licks. to that pace. Muhammad Ali is missing a lot of those punches. Frazier laughs at him again. One minute to go on the round. Round 12. Tough fight to score. Half a minute to go on the round. Round almost over. That was a tremendous round. Yes, it was. Ali made a great Monroe. comeback, didn't he? There? Yes, but Frazier had him on the On the last and the last had him in rows. From someone who was uh, virtually out on his feet in the round before, I would say that Ali made a great comeback, but he's a tired boy. He's a tired boy. They were really working furiously in this corner, pouring ice at him. Now we're seeing an instant replay. We're seeing an instant replay. 30 seconds into the fight, into this particular round. Ali is certainly disproving any doubt that he's not a game fighter. Yeah, uh, Frazier's been done often magnificent body work in here. And now we hit it and we see the same action in slow motion. We're coming up for round 13 now. Here he 
There's the bell. Round 13. Round 13 of a 15 rounder. Hard step back. Stop holding, boys. Ali is putting all his power in those punches, and they've got to be hurting Joe. The biggest crown in the world at stake, the heavyweight championship. And Ali seems to be coming back. Now Ali is piling up points. He's boxing beautifully at the moment for a tired man. Ali slipped, but nothing happened over there. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier let him get away after that big 11th round. On that left hook hurt by Frazier. Ooh, oh, do you hear that punch? Ali making the clinches again. They're both great game fighters. There's a spot of blood on the shoulder of Ali. I guess it's from Frazier, but I don't see where. Well, they're fighting like lightweights now. Tide turns the other way now. If Frazier stays on top of Ali, Ali has no punching room. It's almost over this round. There's the bell. Round is over. Round 13 is over. And what a round. I mean, that Joe Frazier's got to be some kind of a man. Ali hit him with every combination he could think of. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five or six times. Ali's a very tired man. And yet Ali wound up as being a very tired one. Joe just relentlessly keeps going. He has more stamina and power than anybody I think I've ever seen. Don't you, Archie? I think so. I think so. He's sitting there hunched over his stool, ready to go out again. There they are on the ropes just above us now. You're watching them in slow motion. Look at that lift. To Ali's jaw. Fourteen coming up. Yes. Round fourteen of a fifteen rounder. Joe Frazier is barreling in there now to keep Muhammad Ali from getting set. <laughs> Wicked punches by the ex-champion. But there's Muhammad Ali caught on the ropes again. No damage that time. Thank you guys. 
Two minutes to go in this round. Okay, step back. Hey. Step, step back, says the referee, Arthur McCanty. Stop holding, boys. Stop holding, says the referee. Muhammad Ali is doing the holding. He's also stalling for time. Joe Frazier wild with that punch. Remember in the scoring, Muhammad Ali has made most of the clinches. For what that is worth. But he's dealing out plenty of punishment to Frazier as well. Frazier is very puffed around the eyes. He's got swelling around both eyes. From those tremendous jabs and hooks. Frazier's right eye looks as though it might be closing. Frazier talks to him again there. This round nearly over. Round 14. No knockdowns, but Muhammad Ali was staggered in the 11th and almost went down. That's the end of round 14, and what another great round it was. Now, if you look over at Joe's corner, there's something wrong with his face. He might very well have a broken jaw. I mean, he's got a wealth there that's of, of enormous size. Now let's turn back to the instant play for a minute 35 in. Ali came through very well in this round, scoring repeatedly and seeming to get stronger. For a man who was virtually out in round 11, he's come back amazingly. These boys are in magnificent physical shape. Don't you think so, Art? Joe, I think so. I think that Muhammad Ali has proven a lot to a lot of people that he could come back. That's right, that he could come back because he's fighting a really relentless fighter. Joe is, as a serious well, rubbing his leg. Now legs. we're going to look at it slow motion. All right, this is the final round of the fight, and what a fight it's been. 15 and final round. Arthur McCanny has them touch gloves, something they've been doing all night. Now, Muhammad Ali is going to go boxing again. And Frazier gets in to nullify hey, hey, that step attack. Back. Step back, says the referee. Time is important here. such a battering. Frazier is just punch shotting him now. One minute, one minute left. 
Look for a last minute flurry by Muhammad Ali. Less than a minute to go. Muhammad Ali gamely fights back. And Ali again makes the clinch. Remember, the scoring is on a round basis. Frazier is tired, and his eyes are closing. Half a minute, half a minute to go. Frazier has won the big rounds, the 11th and the 15th, at least up to now. Frazier has the man in the corner. by the two judges and the referee. There's the Bedlam scoring, in the ring here. Scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system where the rounds come out even. Joe Frazier seems to be sick in his corner. He is worn out. We're waiting for the decision. Johnny Addy is collecting the cards from the officials. And the, the ring is starting to cloud up despite the security measures taken. The people are coming in the ring. And this was not supposed to happen. We're going to show you the knockdown again. Ladies and gentlemen, here, here comes the decision. Ball. Johnny Addy. Referee Arthur McCanty scores it 8 6, one even for Frazier. One vote for Joe Frazier. Addy Idala, 9 to 6 for Frazier. Frazier is the winner. Frazier is the winner. Correct. 11 rounds for Frazier, 4 rally. The winner by unanimous decision and still heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. For the first time in his career, Muhammad Ali was beaten. Archie Moore and Burt Lancaster are trying to get him over here. Hell no. Joe Frazier. Burt, can you get him over? Joe Frazier is so spent that he wants to go out of the ring. He has just scored the greatest victory of his career, of anybody's career. Here comes Frazier over here, we hope. He is very spent, Bert. And if he doesn't want to be interviewed, I don't blame him. He just doesn't want to be interviewed. He wants to get out to his room. Maybe we can talk to Joe later in the dressing room. Right now, he's a tired young man. He's the champion. He's won again. Come on over here, Joe. Congratulations, Joe. Joe is going over to talk to Muhammad Ali. This is a wild scene here in the ring. We're trying to keep up with the action. Let's the ring, please. Please, everyone out of the way. Everybody out of the pool, they're yelling. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. And we get the the fastest of all transportation. The win, the quickest 
take it and you can dish it out because it was a magnificent effort on your part. Best of luck to you now. We just had a word with Muhammad Ali. He says he thinks that he won the fight and got the decision. Be that as it may, he proved that he's a great champion and he proved to beyond a shadow of a doubt that he could take tremendous punishment and come back fighting. That's a wild scene, Bert. Did you ever have one like this one in the movies? I talked to a very subdued Muhammad Ali. He indicated to me that he thought he won the fight, but he was very tired and very spent. I think both men took such punishment, I don't know how they withstood it. I think that if Frazier had had anything left, he certainly would have knocked him out. But Frazier himself took an awful beating, you know. And it was a fine fight, no doubt about it. Well, there's no question, no question that Mohammed has proven something that people wondered about for a long time, whether or not he could take any punishment. Oh, he took it, and he's game. There's no uh, geezer in him, Bert, nor in Frazier. I right. think in the final analysis, what might have influenced the officials was the holding tactics by Muhammad Ali. Aggressiveness scores a big part here in New York State, you know, Bert. I see. However, I'm only guessing. Archie, how do you think they arrived at the decision? Well, Don, I thought uh, that it was very close indeed, but I mean, the latter, the round that uh, uh, Frazier won were big, were monumentous. He won the big round. He did that. And hey, then the knockdown right, counted we're so. Going to, we're going to show the knockdown again in slow motion in round 15. Now, if you look down below, you'll see it. There's the blow that had sent him to the ground. That left hook. Right to the canvas. Somebody got a good picture there, Bert. See that flash? Yes. Ali has to be one of the greatest fighters of all time. I want to tell you that it's pretty much of a madhouse right here. But so far, the police are... We're going to replay it again and show it to you again. There it goes, that left hook. Look at it. A tremendous left hook. Up to that point, Ali had made a strong comeback. There he goes down on his back. He made a strong comeback from his knockdown on the left. There's Muhammad Ali being let out of the ring. Muhammad Ali is being let out of the ring. He's being booed. I don't understand why he's being booed. He fought like a great fighter, like only a great fighter could. Both of them did. And even though he lost it... Uh, Bert, he's being booed because some people are front runners. I if see. he had won the fight, they'd be cheering him. Well, I right. think probably you're right. Right, Archie? But he uh, really proved he could Muhammad take Ali's a punch. game has never been in doubt. He fought a relentless man. There we are looking at the... We're looking at the... Frank knocked Morris. out again and immediately he's up on his feet. Indicating the kind of courage he has. He's a real tough man, too. Well, I'm going to try to get Frank Morris over here. Frank, here is a... You know, Archie, we the, said earlier today when we were... Bert, if I may interrupt. This is Frank Morris, the chief deputy of the New York State Athletic Commission, the man in charge of all the goings-on here. You know Bert and Archie, of course. I Frank, really do. how do you Archie think... Uh, you saw Frank. the cards of the two officials. How do you think they arrived at their decision, Frank? Well, I'm uh, off the record. I... Off the record, we're talking to a couple of hundred million people. Good, all right, but I'm uh, <laughs> saying uh, the decision I thought was good. Oh, we're not questioning that. No. I just want to know how they arrived at it. Do you think Muhammad Ali's holding or Trazer's aggressiveness? I think, well, the referee had an 8-6-1. That's which close. That's pretty close. Close. Yeah, the fight was fairly close, with the exception of a few rounds where Fraser went to town. Thank you very much, Frank. I like the first two cards, but it was unanimous on all three, wasn't it? Una unanimous on all right. three. Eight, six, one. Nine, six, eleven, four. Eleven, four. And I think, John, that the fans really got their money's worth. Oh, did they ever, Archie? Great fight. Did they ever? One of the great fights of all time. I mean, he was hurt, and he came back like a champ. Twice. Really did. Yeah. Oh, a, you know, plenty game, both of them. They always wondered they whether, whether or not he could take a punch. He proved it tonight, don't he you think? He surely did. And yeah. fight back. He surely did. Yes. And fight back. And fought and back. Fight back. He come back. He, he, he did a great job, I think. That's right. He did a truly great job. There we are, our relentless people here on the, uh, on the uh, TV show. Keep showing the punch. There it goes. The same left hook. The same left hook, and down goes Holly. Down goes Ali. But you notice that every time of an opponent fall from the left hook, they fall the same way. Uh, uh, the Bob Foster, Jimmy yes. Ellis, and now Muhammad Ali. Right. They fell the same way. Right straight back. Straight back, yes. 
Now, why is that, Archie? What is the significance of that? I don't know. I think that is where the leg crumbles. The, I see. The leg well, crumbles. Also moving away from right. the punch a little, don't you right. think so? Right, right. Because he throws that left hook moving forward. I think so. Arthur, let me say that you did a marvelous job, as you always do. Johnny, yeah. 300 million people. I'm mean, Johnny, rather. 300 million people are looking at you. Wouldn't you know it? I'd get your name wrong. Well, <laughs> it's nice to work with you and uh, the champ here, Archie Moore, because Don and I are old friends. We've been working it. together 23 it. years. I We're, sometimes think that Don I sleeps there under the a, ring. Uh, <laughs> a sensational fight uh, for heavyweights. Well, sensational. Fantastic. What anyway, a pace. Anyway. Yeah, you realize I mean, how spent they yeah, were both those You know, heavyweights. Uh, the pace was beautiful. Pace, the pace was beautiful. Archie, I can only recall one heavyweight heavyweight championship fight which didn't go this far one half as far that was as fast and that was your fight with Rocky Marciano and that Thank you, Don. that uh, that was the fastest heavyweight championship fight till now well, what seven rounds was it huh? nine nine oh yeah. yes and you were marvelous up to the time you got knocked out if you forgive me for saying so Thank you. you truly were well, well I... here we are in Madison Square Garden the people are still standing around nobody seems to want to go home I think everybody has been treated to one of the greatest fighting evenings they've ever seen. The crowd is getting to be very orderly now. They're quieting down. For a while there, they looked like we were going to tear the place up. But these stalwart men of New York, New York's finest, were there to take care of things, and they did a marvelous job. And Bert, I'll say that the, uh, regardless of whom they favored, the crowd took the decision very, very well. Naturally, there will be some who are very unhappy about it, as there will be some who are mighty enthused about it. But the great majority uh, took it in stride. Well, you know, there's something interesting. This fight was advertised as a battle of titans, yes. as a battle of giants. And we all know how easy it is to promote these things advertising-wise. And invariably, it turns out to be some kind of a disappointment. But I may not be the most representative or knowledgeable man about boxing or fighting, but certainly in my lifetime, I have never seen two people fight a harder fight, a harder fight, and give of themselves as much as these two men get tonight. I've never seen a heavyweight fight pace this fast or go this far. I've never seen such punishment dished out. I've never seen two men take it like they've done. They're a great credit to boxing, both of them. And Muhammad Ali once again proved, even in defeat, that he's a truly great fighter. It's ironic, Bert, that the two Ali brothers lost their fights tonight. Uh, Bert and yes. Archie, I, I think the decisive moments of the fight and what won the fight for Joe Frazier, kept his title for him, for the 11th round when he staggered Muhammad Ali into the ropes and caught the 15th round. That's the right. The other rounds were pretty close most of the way, I Touch thought. Touch and go. Touch and go. Do you think, Don, in your estimation, that this will lead to a rematch, assuming that the boys would want one? Uh, I, there have been intimations that uh, Joe Frazier's pilot would want him to retire, but I don't know why. Uh, certainly there should be a rematch. There's no question that they each went out 110% to win this fight, and uh, boxing will demand a rematch, I think. I would think so. Unless... And I think Gentleman Joe, he is a gentleman, will give Muhammad Ali a, a rematch. Don't you, Archie? I think so. I think very much so. Yes. Not to mention the million or so he'll get for doing it. Of course. There goes that knockout. Uh, that knockdown, I should say. It was a beautiful executed blow. Beautifully executed blow. That's right. I wonder, Archie and Bert, uh, you're both men of the world, if I may use the expression, what will this do to Muhammad Ali psychologically now that he knows that he no longer is the greatest? How will this affect his temperament, I, believe, I wonder? I uh, believe, Don, that uh, he will go into the gymnasium or into the hills and condition himself, and he'll probably fight the small exhibition like he probably was advised to and get himself in fighting trim. That was the difference between condition and fighting trim. That what I tried to explain to you before. Uh, Archie, I, I meant, how about psychologically? How will this affect him? Well, may I say that go in ahead, my Bert. opinion, if, if Ali decides at all that he wants to continue fighting, I think this will have a very sobering effect on him. Uh, one of the things that came out tonight was the fact that he's a man of enormous courage, that he was able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with an invincible kind of a fighter and fight him at his own game, and in many, many instances, in many moments, successfully. I don't think that he will be the kind of clowning person he was before. That is assuming he intends to fight at all. It may be that he might decide at this point that he doesn't want to fight anymore. And there may be other things in, in, uh, in life that may interest him. Also, as you well know, and as we all are aware of, uh, his case is pending before the United States Supreme Court, and uh, uh, there's no telling what will happen to him. It may possibly be that he will be uh, 
be uh, convicted by the court, as he's already been, he's on appeal now, and go on to, to jail. Uh, that would, of course, affect anything he would have oh, to do. Definitely. But assuming that uh, the Supreme Court upheld his, his position, and there are many people who feel that it might, uh, and he wants to fight, I think that he would go back. I think he has indicated that he has the kind of courage and will to go back and say, I'm going to prove I can beat that man. That would be my feeling. Bert and Archie, we've talked about Muhammad Ali. I'd like to say about Joe Frazier. Archie, uh, you as a great champion could comment on this. I'd, I think if they fight again, that uh, Frazier is not going to take the punishment that he took. I thought many times he took unnecessary punishment from Muhammad Ali. He just stood there and let Muhammad Ali hit him, which of course is silly. What do you think, Archie? Don, I believe that he was trying to psychologically break down the barrier, the psychic barrier that Muhammad Ali had because showing that he couldn't hurt him. But I, I think he overdid it. Yes, I he think was so a too. very tired and weary spent man. I would think that only his great will and determination kept him up. Yes. Well, I think we've talked enough. And uh, I think now is the time for us to wrap this show up, as we say. It has been a good evening. Oh, it's been a wonderful evening. We're going to show you once more in slow motion the knockdown. Our, cam our camera crews are in love with that big left hook, and they would like us to keep talking while they can go on for the next 28 hours showing the left hook. But I think the whole world has seen it. I want to say that we have once again seen an absolutely great fight between two great fighters and truly two men of great character. Uh, and the very fact that it went the limit is a proof of the kind of endurance and courage that these men had. Because either one of them, if they didn't have that kind of character, could have been knocked out somewhere in the early rounds. Right. Joe Frazier was a very tired, tired, tired young man. Even though he won the championship, he was so tired, he just wanted to get into his dressing room and not talk to anybody. Muhammad Ali did say a few words for the audience, but he was also a very whipped young man, rather dazed, and very, very quiet. None of the gregariousness or the... Uh, overtness uh, of the Ali of the past. I'm not uh, we saw a great fight tonight, one that will really go down in history. And uh, I think you saw a great fight too. So with that, I will say goodnight to you, Archie, and to you, Don, and to all you lovely people all over the world. Thank you very much. You know, um, just to dwell on it once moment more, fellas, if you picked up the papers tomorrow, if you didn't see the fight and you saw Joe Frazier won a unanimous decision, you might think it was a nothing fight, and it was far from that. Right. Because it was so close. That's right. Huh? So, uh, on behalf of my wonderful, wonderful colleagues, great screen star Burt Lancaster, great light heavyweight champion Archie Moore, this is Don Dunphy in the ring at Madison Square Garden saying, it's been a wonderful evening. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>